Wolfram Alpha is probably one of the fastest growing, largest collections of data that's out there. There's always more data and more information out there that can be collected. So uh, I think our job is just beginning. I've been involved with the Wolfram Alpha project for about two years now. My main focus area has been in astronomy and uh, related topics. So I've actually dabbled a little bit in satellites and uh, I've even dabbled in some areas that are unrelated to astronomy such as uh, hospitals and even volcanoes. So, uh, uh, but astronomy is definitely my focus area for Wolfram Alpha. My background in astronomy actually began when I was a kid. I actually uh, had to telescope ever since I was pretty little, um, but it actually took off when I was in college. Then to actually be able to apply it later on when Wolfram Alpha came along and being able to use my astronomy interest uh, in my daily job was uh, quite rewarding. One of the most impressive things with uh, astronomical data as it's used in Wolfram Alpha is the number of entities that we have. Sometimes it's just interesting to see how much information we have on just a given entity. So for example, if you query for the star Rigel, if you just say Rigel, um, it will actually bring up all the physical information about that star. It'll bring up uh, um, you know, where it's at in the sky, so you can actually get a star chart that shows you where it's at. Uh, for planets, you can also get not only a position where is it at in the sky, but you can also get where is it at in the solar system. So you actually get all that information just by querying for the one object. But we've been able to actually collect information from, uh, information from very different sources that includes things like, uh, um, you know, color, spectral class. Uh, we've also got um, uh, things like things that we've computed actually we have computed properties things like mass radius temperature and so uh, we've actually you know grown on top of the data available and pulled it all together which is a very useful tool the environment for Mathematica actually allows us to do all the cross-referencing, um, all, all the data curation, all that stuff just in one environment. Um, if, if I had to go out there and do this with just ad hoc tools out there with Perl scripts or something like that, it would have taken a lot longer. Uh, using Mathematica underneath the hood has actually helped tremendously with being able to pull all the necessary elements that were needed for this project together. It's just, it's impressive how much data that we've got. Um, uh, there, there's lots more data out there. I mean, astronomical means astronomical. It's very large. So I'm looking forward to trying to get as much of that in there as possible.